to another episode of XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man and Dakira, I'm gonna guide you through this mission as well. So we are here at the Advent Black Site where we learned that the the Advent are manufactured spoilers. And the objective of this mission is to move forward and recover the similar suit that we found the commander in in the first place. So me. The trickiest part about this mission is that the, there are two bridges and these bridges are pretty hard to take uh, if you're not careful because uh, from the other side of the gap you can be you can be easily shot a lot. Shadowlands, this is the unit we were looking for. Uh, let's start with an easy move in order not to trigger anyone that is waiting for us down here. That's a turret. We can begin by killing the turret. I feel good about that. Konrad Müller has joined us from the resistance. Which is very irrelevant for us. I feel like opening with fanfire. This looks good. This looks like a kill. I really like this ability. It's just so silly. Uh, especially because somehow the animator didn't get told that uh, it, it was going to be three shots. So we get the sounds, but the animation does two shots, as if it was a double tap. Maybe that was the original name of the of the ability. Who knows? So many mysteries in XCOM. I will go. Uh, we cannot tap. That means there's patrols to be discovered. That is perfectly fine. We want to put everyone else in on Overwatch anyway, including Konrad Müller. They patrol to us. Uh, sadly, Aki has uh, already spent her turn. That means we have to do this the old-fashioned way. That's the sectopod. There's always a sectopod in this mission, no matter what you do. Well, I've never tried to rush the mission as early as possible, but I believe there's always a sectopod. Uh, we lost sight of the enemy, that's why we cannot take a shot with the sniper. Let's regain sight of the enemy. Let's see, can we take it? Oh, we cannot even shoot at them. Okay, we can shoot at them from here. That's good enough. Can we one-shot the Codex? Uh, only 50% of the time. Can we one-shot the Sectoid? 100% of the time. Take the shot, get the kill. You guys know this already. Uh, death from above, get the action back. Codex moves. Mm, now it's 20%. I don't like it anymore. However, we may do rapid fire. Uh, if only because it's gonna be a few turns before we engage anything else. Uh, we get the crit anyway. It was a 20% chance. When you don't need it, you get it. Just as always. We want to continue moving forward. So we go here. Hmm, that was maybe too close to safety, uh, for safety, for comfort, whatever is correct to say in that point. Uh, we reload? No, we don't reload. We move forward. We move forward. We move forward. At this point, it's a, a squad that has to follow quickly, because everyone else is such a good killer. We get ever vigilant, which is nice in case we trigger this patrol. We don't. That's also fine. Uh, what is this composition? It was a specter and a priest. Is that a priest? No, that's a shield bearer. Yes. It means I'm even less afraid. So we consider opening with the car. The car would hit us. Let's not do that. We can move back. We can move up. Let's move up. I like that. And we wait on the car, because uh, there's a chance that the units want to go there. So 
So if this is not enough to see anyone, we cannot use it as a grappling hook point. Therefore, we move to the side and then we hook up to the right. Gotta be careful not to trigger the patrol itself. So how far can we go? Here. Okay, next to the ladder is the position. We take a shot at the Spectre because uh, it has a ton of health and this is where we want to put most of the damage. 16, that's a beautiful hit. Crit. Let's see if they get close to the car or if they decide to double run it. This unit stays close, this unit does not. That is fine. We want to destroy the car anyway. If only because it's gonna break uh, the armor, and because we have nothing better to do with this unit. Blow up the car, shred one armor, doesn't matter. Let's see who else can participate in this. Oh, I didn't consider this. Are we really that far? We are not really that far. Good. Move over here, take a shot. 100%, that's kill. Um, we have many ways to to make sure that we kill the second thing. One of them is to move here with a hook. I could also give another action back to someone if if this hit is below 100%. It's 85. Who will, who would want to kill this the sniper? No. Let's take the 85. Uh, if that had not worked, I would have used this uh, Icarus jump, but we didn't need to. So we save one more thing. <coughs> it's as good as saving ammunition or grenades. One of one of the one of the challenges in XCOM, especially late game, is to balance the use of your special resources. Because uh, since they usually have only one charge, oh, that was silly. Okay, so they teleported. We're fine with this. <laughs> Surprise! Two patrols were right there, and you did not see them. Still perfectly fine. We have so many tools to do with this that we are not worried. Also, everyone is pretty close this time because we use double moves. Okay, so as I was saying. Uh, late in the game, the biggest challenge is to uh, leverage which uh, special abilities you want to use and which um, uh, consumables you want to use, because, for example, this could be a nice hit, but then I'm out of the capacity of this charge, so I'm reluctant to do so. However, uh, I, I believe I have learned a nice balance between all of them. And I feel pretty confident. Uh, I'm also thinking of running the Overwatch with the Rookie. Just because I don't want to spend, again, any special ability on it. We could also grab the Grenadier and ask him how does this look. How does this look indeed. There's no way we can... Oh, oh, that's, that's a beautiful dodge. Just look at it. That's gonna blow up the car. Still doesn't hurt us. Uh, and then it's gonna destroy all of these things on the way. The only problem with this action is that uh, I really love opening the actual facility with the cannon. Uh, but we, again, as we were talking right now, uh, knowing when to use these one-shot things is key to XCOM. I really love that hit. It was pretty good. So, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Before we move on, let's remember we have a unit that has special abilities. Like, for example, moving over here, using a free reload. We could have been lightning hands on the... on the Lancer... the Lancer in the back. Bam! Excellent. And now, everyone together, please. 100% take the shot, get the kill, 
Death from above. Get our action back. He's like a song that could show up in a coal mine. Get the uh, take the shot, get the kill. Death from above. Get the action back. The story repeats. Take the shot, get the kill. Death from above. Get the action back. Free reload number two. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, so now we can do something fun. Uh, we try to jump forward to the Lancer to punch him. Excellent. The punch deals enough damage for the Sniper to then uh, do their trick. But what we wanted the most with this movement is to move behind the Andromedon so that we could... Uh, okay, let's not use Whiplash. We have still many, many ways to deal with this encounter. For example, we move the ruby forward. This unit, for example. 91%. It's not a crit, that's fine. Hair trigger free action. Okay, fair enough. Get the kill on the thingy. Now it has no cover anymore. Let's see who wants to kill it. So you would deal a um, sizable amount of damage. How about the rookie? Can the rookie get the kill? Do it, rookie! Konrad Müller! Beautiful. Uh, we could have given the kill to the to the Reaper, but who cares? Again, mm, this may not be a kill. However, we take the shot. Get the kill. Death from above. Get your action back. Okay. So that horrible engagement went out without any trouble. That makes us very happy. Um, did we spot the sector bot? Seems to be the case. Fair enough. We'll move. Prepare to engage the sector bot soon. Uh, this time we don't want to use uh, oh, long watch to trigger it because we're super far away. Move everyone forward. Take it easy. Take no risks. You cannot run. Spot an yet another patrol. See what the sector bot decides to do. Maybe he explodes himself. Maybe not. He was careful with the car. Something explodes over there. I believe this is the threat some cannons doing. Um, this doesn't have enough range. I don't know if I want to trigger them this turn. So what I'm gonna do is first take a better look, like uh, over here. I, go where you tell me. I really want to see where everyone is. We get a tiny cinematic. That is fine. Uh, beautiful angle. This, this, the cinematography work here is amazing. But that's what you get when you do procedural maps. There's no way to avoid that. Uh, we still don't see if those units would trigger depending on where we move. So what we're gonna do is take an even riskier move. Now that we see them, we can check for example with you. Uh, if we move over here, we would trigger them. That means the bridge is... Oh, it's not safe. Okay, so up up to this line we would trigger the, the sector pot, so we don't want to go there. We move here. Uh, this unit takes a double move. This unit takes a double move. This unit takes a single move. This unit takes a tiny move. Double move over here. I believe that's everyone. So Overwatch, Overwatch, Long Watch, and let's see what we go fishing for. It is the priest! Hello priest, good shot. Oh, it, we shot at the other guy, at the purifier. That's fine. As long as they move forward, they will trigger the rest of the guys. Surprise, that's a sustain. 
apparently someone else shot at him and missed and got a three so I'm guessing that's the shotgun person the game is still trying to process how to show this we take yet another shot at the same guy poor guy Sectopod triggers himself maybe yes maybe no it does not that is impressive uh, however we will insist Sectopod please can you come to us Sectopod how will we insist how about with this unit no with him we want to use double attacks okay uh, we will move uh, here this looks like a nice place to move to trigger the Sectopod Hopefully it doesn't move to a bad position, for example in range of the Reaper. Uh, it is a bad position because it's close to the car, the car would get exploded. So we're gonna move back now, that's a shame. Maybe before we move back we throw the axe, I like that. Watch out. We miss, that's a shame. We move back, we use run and gun so that we have an extra action. Stiletto is perfectly fine there. Um, where is our heavy? Here is the heavy. 98% is pretty good. We want to take a shot. We shred the armor. This will make the encounter very, very easy. And the way it makes it easy is because this guy is capable of... Blue screen protocol destroyed. It still has plenty of health, that's why we're gonna use dual strike. Will be pretty nice hits. Beep boop. Two health remaining. We are probably gonna check uh, if the Reaper can get 100%. Actually, no. Actually, yes. So, the Reaper can take this 100%. We want to kill, give the Reaper some kills. Uh, he feels better about it. Boom. And then, what are we gonna do? First, let's see. Aki. Take the shot. Get the kill. Death from above. Get the action back. Free reload number three. Keep it in mind, because we don't have too many, we only have four. We just overwatch for this guy. Uh, I'm thinking, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking covering fire overwatch with this unit, just in case the priest decides to not do anything and just act, uh, then he will get shot anyway. This has a two turn cooldown, so we're not really worried about it. And we'll put a greater overwatch this in case he decides to move. So whatever he does, he's screwed. Aki, please. Uh, this has to be a kill because of the stock, so there's no other option. We don't get the action back, it's not our turn. However, it makes everything fine. Alright, so as I mentioned before, I love opening this whole area using the Shredstorm cannon however this is not the case mm. let's, let's start moving everyone forward we are too far from that engagement to make anything useful happen uh, not beyond this guy though I believe that's far enough reload Reload with you too. See that this patrol has tiny movement. That is perfectly fine. Uh, I was thinking about planting claymores to kill it, but uh, that's not gonna be the case. Uh, we're gonna grab the grenadier, who should be around here. There we go. Oh, that's so far away. All right. In that case, we just double move. I believe this doesn't trigger them. If it does, it's also fine. Mm -hmm. They didn't trigger. 
That means we just move forward with everyone. This mission is not on a timer. Thankfully. However, I still think we're moving very, very fast. So I'm not worried about that either. We reload on those that have low ammo. We overwatch on those that have full ammo. Or high ammo. Maybe we'll get the overwatch trap sprung. Apparently we do. Hopefully we miss, so we destroy the wall. <laughs> Perfect. So it's not exactly that way that happened, but it opened up for everyone. One unit gets immediately killed. Wall destruction, very effective. Uh, okay, so what happened right now is that the the mech went into Overwatch, but the purifier started moving. That triggered another Overwatch, and he got killed. That means he explodes. This is literally as good as it could have gone for us. Um, I'm I'm not even sure I want to even waste anything on this. I was thinking of pistol shots, but I guess we we can take a decent shot at it. That was a fantastic engagement by everyone. That's a miss. We absolutely don't care. Uh, how about this? We move over here. Oh, interesting. Ah, this tiny wall. That's my fault. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's open the door. Because we can. Oh. Ah, perfect. We destroyed the cinematic. I'm so proud of ourselves. I blame the purifier though, it's not my fault, Advent. Don't blame me. <laughs> so, what happened is that the game expects uh, this place to be intact when you see it first time. And uh, it would show you that uh, Advent troopers come out of these vats. Uh, however, we, d we destroyed everything by killing the purifier on the way. And it made for a very funny cinematic. Procedural not coming through this time. Okay, so apparently we have to dodge tiny walls, being capable of blocking the line of sight to this. There's <laughs> a new invisible advent. Oh no! How could this happen to us? Central, we need help. Um, I'm inclined to use fanfire again. It's just a fun ability. We could just take a sniper shot. Maybe that's enough. It is not enough. But we get a hair trigger. Is this a free reload? That's the last free reload. Wait, we got we got the kill. What are we talking about? Okay. Everyone else moves up. Uh, I'm extremely happy that we open up this because that means I don't need to go through the sides or do anything silly. We can go straight forward right now. I believe there's always another patrol in here. So we will be careful about this. Package is in range. Um, I don't feel like moving with the last unit, so let's be safe. Um, okay, so there is a simple way to see where everyone is. We go to the center of the facility, we even get a nice little trapdoor, and with scanning protocol. Okay, so we see that they're above us. What are they? There's an Archon and two Spectres. I'm um, thinking maybe I want to trigger them on purpose. How can we do this? Can we get a Claymore stuck up here? Is that a thing? Maybe if we move? Heh, <laughs> that would be funny. Says I am to obey. Okay, we can do it. Let's get a Claymore stuck up here. Soon. And then let's see if we can use mm, a grenade to trigger it. So I think we'll have to go up here. But if they see me, then I don't get to do the grenade. Mm, that's a shame. Maybe we, maybe we did this too fast. We should have checked that first. Okay. Uh, Maybe instead we move over okay. here and we try to get a grenade through the broken roof 
That would be funny. We don't get it. That's a little bit of a shame. What can you do? Okay, so what we will do is we'll move up here and we will see if we have the action giver ready to give an action. The answer is we do. We walk through the door because that's exactly how XCOM works. And we search for the Grenadier for combat presence. We're really trying to make this as fun as possible. Because we're trying super hard to detonate this, uh, this place. Oh, that is beautiful. We did it. We did it. So we put a claimer up there and now we put this grenade up there as well. Basically shoot at the roof. It works perfectly fine. It gets the specters killed. That was amazing. The guy did not even trigger. That means he doesn't know what's going on. This is just too funny. Um, so I wonder now how, how can we trigger it? Do you see him? You don't see him. This this game, uh, line of sight, is one of the funniest things in this thing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Mm, I'm thinking if I move up here, I'm also not gonna see it. So I will just move here. Okay. Maybe maybe hookshot would allow us. Yeah, hookshot looks good. Okay, so we're gonna move up. If it triggers the enemy, then we'll take care of it. If it doesn't, we will hookshot upstairs and be like surprise. We are the people who blew the entire facility. He still activates. <laughs> he moves out of our range. That that is an amazing move. Good job. Uh, However, it's not good enough. Is this a slash? This is not a hundred percent. Ah, disgusting. Giga, let's move you next to them. Ah, we even get bootsies. So with the Icarus, you don't need ladders anymore. Uh, let's take a single shot. Hope that it's a kill. It's not a kill. We get dodged. I guess that's fair. Uh, however, we can still give one more action. We have so many tools. That's amazing. And uh, we go for the kill. You know what? I wanted to use Banish, but maybe that's too much. Beautiful kill. We did it. Maybe this is the last of the enemies. That will make it very easy. It is the last of the enemies. Uh, so what we will do now is prepare for the withdrawal. Um, depending on how the map spans, for example, this way not so much. This way yeah, a bit more. The chances are that we are gonna have to escape this way. However, I really cannot decide right now, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I go where you tell me. just get everyone together. Then we'll pass the turn, so maybe just reload with everyone. We go Overwatch. Uh, there's no enemies, so that's uh, irrelevant. We let the Reaper save the, the commander again. We see that there's a reinforcement coming through the roof. That doesn't seem like a safe way to engage the enemy. So we get the thingy down, as, we, as I guessed, uh, we needed to go left. Uh, I'm inclined to do the, uh, the Blade Master trick, but uh, the last time we got punished by exploding a purifier in our face, and there's good reason to believe this, this could absolutely happen again. Uh, let's see, where is the exit on this side? The exit is over there, that means... That means the best option is to move up here. Open the door. Then move the... That's not nice. Let's move this guy over here. And then we just destroy the wall. Because who needs doors? Uh, let the grenadier take the body. He has a ton of mobility. 
Also, he has an extra skeleton, which should make it easy for him. Keep moving it with everyone. We're not gonna wait for the patrol, uh, for the reinforcements to drop. At this point, uh, only the Reaper can get experience, and it's not really that interesting. <laughs> we still get a free Overwatch, I forgot about that. That guy has like 7 million shots and uh, Guardian, which means every Overwatch hit can turn into another Overwatch. Enemy drops down, they trigger, they... <laughs> the guy was sad about his friend. Oh, how could they kill you? Okay, no one goes into Overwatch, that means we can just escape. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Move, move. Giga doesn't even need to fly, but he can, so let's do it. Whoop. Whoosh. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Let's see what can we kill. The answer is nothing. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here with two buttons. Get out of here. Get out of here. Mission is done. And we are done as well. Flawless. Excellent. So now we have all the side missions, side, not side, the opposite, main story mission complete. Uh, we just need to finish the research on the shadow gate and then finish the research on the avatar body indeed uh, itself. Everyone is tired. That's the only bad thing. We'll have to wait. Yes, 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 yes. So we have three researches to do. These are the three. Uh, let's make sure that it goes as smooth as possible. I'm seriously considering skipping uh, the next mission because we're probably gonna get a mission right now of something silly. Uh, which would require us to use low level units, maybe mixed with high level units, and put them at risk. I'm not really inclined to do so, it's not my favorite idea. So we'll continue and see what happens. As we mentioned, supply rate, uh, show of force, 13 units, heavy mech. There's a gatekeeper too. Mm. I'm tempted to skip this. What does chat say? Should I do it or should I skip it? We're so close to finishing. We don't want to put any of these units at risk. But I guess we still have backup units of everything. Uh, however, I am on a covered action. That's a little bit of a shame. That could have helped. I don't know what's the delay between chat and me saying things, so let's see if we see an answer in a minute. From the very beginning, it was one failed science experiment after another. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All of these are decent units, but I'm really not inclined on doing this mission. We never checked if we have extra things here. <laughs> Salvo with the sniper. What? Why? Mm. I've never had kill zone work as expected, so that's a little bit of a shame. I feel like buying cereal, uh, if only because we may find ourselves not in high ground and having to shoot. Cool. Then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip the mission. We're so close to finishing that we just want to move forward. Um, did we get did we get the uh, whole targeting? Yes, we did. We can now consider something like Ever Vigilant. Less padding just to add uh, even more armor. 
Let's go for Ever Vigilant. It's a nice use of our points, our last points. This guy, ah, uh, yeah, we used everything for him already. That was fun. Hail of Bullets, we have zero, zero points, forget it. Gika, you get holo targeting, that's beautiful. You get dead eye, that's beautiful. Uh, implacable, sounds good. Perfect. And then I don't think we're gonna use this unit. All right. We skip one mission. Uh, it's even a supply raid, so we really don't care about it. We finish this first research. I believe we have to upgrade it. No. We already had it. Keep on doing researches. Uh, how long will this take? I didn't see. Eight days. Uh, that's brutal. So we missed it. We don't care. I believe we can instantly buy the region back. Or did they just reduce funding? I believe. No. Make contact. 80 into. Whoop. Instantly got it back. It was not too hard. Okay, Avenger next thing. Uh, the reason we skipped that mission, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, is because we are literally two research away from finishing the game, and uh, our A team had just gone to a mission, and we didn't want to take any chance. Don't we already have this? I'm pretty sure we have it. Uh, we didn't want to take any chance to take any type of damage or even s randomly get someone killed because we're unlucky. Uh, so that's why I prefer to skip the mission altogether. We buy this upgrade. It's a nice use of our last Illyrium crystals. I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the elders are dying off. So that's a little bit of a spoiler comment, but it doesn't matter. The story about the elders, or the ethereals as they were known in XCOM 1, is that they're uh, degenerating uh, in, its, in their DNA, I believe. Uh, domination. So they are looking for other races that could host them as uh, kind of parasites or leeches or symbiosis. And humans have both uh, physical abilities and psychic abilities for them. That's why they are happy about that. Okay, so since we are very close to finishing, I am not going to send the team again, uh, this team, uh, to, to, get the, to get these things. What am I talking about? To get the, the covered ops, I'm not gonna send myself and the Templar because I plan to use maybe myself and someone else, uh, not the Templar, on the on the final mission part one, which is the radio tower. The radio tower is a mission where you can only send three units. Uh, do we get another skip? Yep. Ignore. I am sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, world. We are too close to finishing. No, the cost of recruits. How could they do this? Okay, we don't even lose the region. That's all fine. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful yes. Avatar autopsy. This would trigger the end of the game. Uh, I can I can place. I, maybe I should have done this before. Twelve days. Nope. We don't want to do this. Roll traffic, superior scope, chosen information. <laughs> Great. Thankfully, we got the chosen information. Uh, okay, we go to the Reaper HQ. We have 3,000 supplies. I believe that is more than enough for anything we could ever think about. We could try buying the entire pool of recruits. <laughs> The aliens try to build another avatar facility because we destroyed so many of them. Show of force, doesn't matter at all. The month is over, maybe we get reprimanded. We'll have to do better, he says, when we are literally about to win. <laughs> the right approach. Such mean words. Uh, okay, so we, now that it's a new month, we can check if there's any 
breakthrough that we would care about, for example, given the bulb pups another another uh, modular upgrade. I like that. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, let's see if we can do it in seven days. How much do we have before the research? Six days. So seven days seems perfectly fine. Mm, that's not what we wanted. Breakthrough research. Use the Templar. Use me. Or rather, one random thing. Use me. S subtract one day from it. And go. Come on, come on. <laughs> Avatar project trying to catch up. VIP mission. We skip it. Third mission skip. New facility. So those units, uh, sorry, that contact has scattered. However, we can instantly get it back because of our continental bonuses or orders. The central is probably very worried about what's happening. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress For everyone, the world looks like it's going crazy. Going to slow them down. We'll need to we got the thingy. The elders, we carry on. Uh, we don't even want to go to another... Um, won't be easy. We don't want to go to another covered ops. We don't want to go anywhere else. We just want to finish the game. Okay, so what do we have here? Squad vision increase, squad crit chance increase. Ooh, that's a nice one. Dodge. Okay, we'll take, we'll take the extra. Okay, so what's happening? Uh, let me explain for everyone. Uh, once we engage this mission, the game will be finished. What I mean by this is. Uh, there's no way we can go back to the world. This is kind of like in RPGs where the final mission is triggered and we cannot do anything about that. Um, in a mission like this, we want to bring one of the Reapers uh, that will trigger the end condition and additionally uh, some units to give a tiny bit of backup. Uh, however, we cannot give any of the special things to these units. Actually, no, we can. So it's perfectly fine to give them special things. However, we are going to pretend that we have to send two squads simultaneously to different positions because that is way more fun. So we use uh, this Reaper, the low level one, in case someone gets hurt or tired, then we will still be fine. And we send... Uh, who is your squad mate? Major Arthur Gangster Mitchell. Who is that person? It's a major... So it's a sharpshooter. I don't think we want a sharpshooter. I believe we want Giga for the final mission, but we can use him here too. Okay, Giga, it's an Argentinian team. Sadly, we don't know the, the nationality of the Reaper. It's all fine. Let's make sure that we can transfer all the weapons. Uh, do we even need a hack? Who knows? Maybe the grenade was a better idea. Medkit. Oh, oh, there's one more thing to, to build. No, we already did this. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Rage Armor. And then uh, use just the medkit. Looks funny on a support. Uh, that's because it's really funny. We'll put the uh, Stretch Storm on the support. That makes no sense, but it makes us happy. Take the good shadow lands. Wait, we, we could have increased this all along. Okay, let's do that. Superior. Uh, okay, so someone mentioned. <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. Since I don't have a superior laser sight, I'm gonna use a repeater, because someone mentioned that using banish uh, makes it extremely easy to get any kill thanks to the instant chance to hit to kill. Uh, and then we can just put an additional PCS on this unit, because it's not using one. Gika was already well equipped, so we are ready for this mission. We also got the extra chance to crit, 
so there was yet another reason not to use the, the laser scope there. And l like always, but maybe for the last time, uh, I'm gonna cut the stream and then start, start it again so that we get a final video together with both uh, final missions.